Hi, it's Nancy Long here, and this is video number five in a series called From Canvas to Tablet Painting. Today we're going to paint a spray of berries, and it's the last element that we need to use in our big painting. The digital tablet that we're using is the Wacom Intuos 5. It's not that expensive, and it makes a great hobby for a creative person. You can paint to your heart's content. Well, let's get started on those berries so we can move on. Okay, we're going to make our canvas for some berries that we're going to paint. We're going to make this a sticker, so we're going to make it square again. Our canvas is going to be transparent, so the opacity is set to zero. Now we have transparent square again. We're going to use the oil brush in a thin um, setting so that we can just paint some stems for these berries. And we're going to do berries because we need some smaller filler items for our bouquet and I found a really easy way to do these so I thought I'd show you and they're handy you can use them in all kinds of different paintings and we're going to use this pen it's called a gloop pen and we're using the fill and border setting and if you look at the circle you can kind of tell how big the berry will be I'm going to choose um, a darker red but actually the longer you hold down on the pen the more paint comes onto the berry the bigger the berry gets I don't know what kind of berries these are I made them up so basically I'm just making one dot and then another dot a little off center so they almost look like they're hollow or open really easy doesn't take too much talent to do this just holding the stylus down and lifting up but the result is good and it's nice to have different things to put in your different paintings now I'm gonna get a darker color I make the brush a little smaller. I'm just going to kind of put like a little center in these. I'm just tapping down lightly for these.
and as you can see the berries are, are kind of transparent so once I get these black centers in I'm gonna come in with kind of an orangey red I think and try and fill in I think that I will try using the airbrush for that only in a really small size so let's try that get like this orangey maybe and just give it a little now I think the opacity is too yeah the opacity on this airbrush is a hundred percent I'm gonna back that off and make it about 50 I'm gonna undo that those last two strokes the beauty of this program that you can do that and I like that better so you can still see through them but it doesn't bother me super easy I think I got them. Now I'm just going to take the blender and I'm going to make it really small too and just maybe blend that out a little. The ones that you can see through the most. If I blend it, that'll fix the problem. See, I missed a few, so I'm going to get that airbrush and I think I'm going to get a little darker color.
Alright, last thing, I'm just going to take my eraser because I kind of got that one. A little bit fuzzy. Alright, I think that's going to be good for our berries. We're going to save them. We're going to export them to the new PNGs file. I'm going to save there. I'm going to go to our sticker file in our floral category. Click on new. Upper layer in the color. We're going to grab those berries. Open them. Name them. And now we are going to save them into our stickers. And there they are. Well, now that we have that last element saved, let's move on to our big painting. We can use those five stickers that we've saved in countless combinations. Think of all the things that you'd like to paint and save that way to make your own creations. I'll see you in the last video.